All right, everyone, as she was a mentor, a coach, and a friend to so many people, she paved the path for women's sports and forever changed the University of Tennessee. One year ago today, we said goodbye to Pat Summit, and tonight we're looking back at the legacy she left behind, a legacy of faith, strength, and courage. <laughs> The somber sound of the Tennessee Waltz playing from Ayers Hall, June 28, 2016. Pat Summit's favorite song chiming at 8 o'clock in the evening in honor of the Lady Vols' eight national championship wins. Across UT's campus, flowers, cards, and signs fill the plaza that bears her name surrounding Pat's statue, arms crossed with that famous stare. A growing tribute to show Pat's impact on women's sports and the lessons she left behind. You know, I, I think probably the one thing that she has taught me is it's, it's not about you. And it, it never was about Pat Summit. It was about this team and this, uh, uh, our kids and, and women and getting better. So I, I think from all that, it's, it's be passionate for what you do, love what you do, and it's not about you. A few weeks after her I death, the university held a public celebration of life service. Among those in attendance, Robin Roberts, Peyton Manning, Governor Haslam, former players, colleagues, friends, and her son, Tyler. She was the strongest person I have ever known, or that I ever will know. That admiration for Pat drew fans from all over the country. I live in Rutledge. No, no. Just outside of St. Louis, about an hour. Virginia? Connect, New Jersey, 13 hours coming through all the way through Pennsylvania, through Virginia, come down yesterday. An incredible coach, mentor, and leader in women's sports who embodied the spirit of Tennessee, who taught us all. Once a lady ball, always a lady ball. Pat Summit died at the age of 64, just years after she was diagnosed with early onset dementia, Alzheimer's type. It was that disease that robbed the legendary coach of her memories, but it's safe to say that she will never be forgotten. Because when all of us are forgotten, the world will remember our friend, Pat Summit. Coverage continues tonight. Sports Director Marshall Hughes spoke with Lady Vols head coach Holly Warlick on how Pat Summit prepared her to follow in her footsteps. But we do want to send things out to WATE 6 on your side's Bridget Biorlo. She's at Pat Summit Plaza hearing from fans tonight. Bridget. Hi, Lori and Kristen. Well, people of all ages have been coming out to the Pat Summit statue to honor the legend and pay the respects to Pat Summit. Though she may be gone, she is most definitely not forgotten, and you can see it right here at her memorial. Take a look at this. All of these items were just placed here today. Here we are with these large flower displays. This one from the Pat Summit Foundation, a very beautiful display here. But then down here, athletes, fans, loved ones have been laying flowers, UT orange and white, of course, and there's an actual signed letter to Pat herself. My favorite is up here, that orange carnation in Pat's memory and in her hands there in that statue. Very beautiful piece right there. Well, fans remember not just her achievements on the court, but the character and the legacy she left behind. They recall her fierce determination on the court and just her loving spirit. They say she was a role model and a friend to all. Pat Summit was, of course, the winningest NCAA coach in history, but fans remember her most for just the person and the mentor she was. You remember that it was the one year anniversary of passing of Pat and um, we saw it. We wanted to stop and give our our uh, our best to her. She's a legacy at this at the university. Um, as far back as I can remember, we've been contributing to the university for 27 years and she was just a mainstay. Fantastic woman on and off the court. Just got to say hello. <laughs> And fans have been turning out since as early as five this morning. We keep saying more people come out as they get off from work, but most cemented in her legacy is, of course, her record, which is uh, cemented right here and engraved in her memorial. As you can see, more than a thousand wins, eight national championships. Wow, what an accomplishment there. Those are achievements and, of course, memories that will always live on right here on the University of Tennessee campus here in Knoxville. Bridget Bjorlo, WATE 6 on your side.